It's no secret that Citrus Hills enjoys some of Florida's best weather. Hi, I'm Dr. Nick Grondin, an assistant professor at the University of Tampa focusing on atmospheric science. And I'm here today to share with you the science of why Citrus Hills enjoys Florida's ideal microclimate. Before we get started, you may be asking, well, what does Citrus Hills microclimate look and feel like? Here are a couple of key facts. First, Citrus Hills enjoys an average of 240 days of sunshine each year. Second, temperatures here average between 55 and 80 degrees for most of the year. Lastly, the elevation of over 240 feet above sea level protects you from hurricane storm surge, flooding, and associated insurance risks. A convergence of geographic, atmospheric, and topographic variables converge in Citrus Hills to create these incredible conditions. Let's dig into the science behind this unique Florida microclimate. Based on its latitude, Citrus Hills sits within a belt of semi-permanent high atmospheric pressure known as the horse latitudes or the subtropical high. Around 30 degrees latitude, the tropical easterly trade winds generated by the Hadley cell and the mid-latitude westerlies created by the Ferrell cell diverge, creating sustained, semi-permanent high atmospheric pressure. In Florida, this occurs in a band across north-central Florida between Orlando in the south, Gainesville in the north, with Citrus Hills right in between. High pressure causes air to sink, reducing the likelihood for sustained cloud formation and resulting in clear skies. It's no surprise then that Citrus Hills enjoys blue skies and sunshine, just like today, for over 240 days out of the year. As you travel south to places like Sarasota or Fort Myers, the climate begins to become more tropical, with warmer winters and more humid summers. Conversely, as you move north into the Florida Panhandle, there is a much greater likelihood of freezing temperatures, ice storms, and sometimes even snow during the winter months. Given its latitude, Citrus Hills is in the ideal zone for outdoor Florida living. While Citrus Hills' latitude plays an important role in its overall climate, this area's rare coastal hills and topography create a unique microclimate within the villages of Citrus Hills. Much of Florida has an elevation of less than 12 feet above sea level, with coastal areas often just being a few feet above sea level. Citrus Hills, on the other hand, is one of the highest points in the Florida Peninsula, with an average elevation of over 240 feet above sea level, despite only being nine miles from the coastline. How does this create the Citrus Hills microclimate? We need to start by thinking about the concept of a sea breeze, or as we can call it in this part of Florida, a gulf breeze. In general, local winds form due to a temperature difference between two areas, blowing from areas of cooler temperatures and associated high pressure to areas of warmer temperatures and associated lower pressure. Because water warms at a slower rate than air, wind tends to blow from cooler bodies of water to warmer land in a sea breeze during the warm summer months. Let's see how this plays out here in Citrus Hills. The coastline adjacent to Citrus Hills is home to the largest spring system in Florida, the Hunter Kings Bay Three Sisters Spring Network, which produces over 630 million gallons of water per day at a constant 73 degrees Fahrenheit. In the heat of the summer, this creates a significant temperature difference that results in a gentle gulf breeze that can average between 10 and 50 miles an hour in cooler temperatures here in Citrus Hills. When looking at this sea breeze, it's important to understand how it interacts with Citrus Hills elevation. Wind speeds can be reduced by friction from obstacles on the land surface that reduce airflow things like tall buildings, terrain, or even trees. This is why higher elevations tend to be windier. Because the nature coast is protected from coastal development, it lacks the high rises and condos found in other coastal areas in Florida, 
and because Citrus Hills is the natural high point of the area, it enjoys a frequent sea breeze. This results in cooler temperatures and improved air circulation during the summer, allowing residents to enjoy an active and outdoor lifestyle all year long. During the winter months, this coastal temperature differential reverses, and the 73 degree springs along the coastline help keep temperatures in Citrus Hills milder and more moderate. With milder winters, cooler summers, and lower humidity compared to other parts of Florida, Citrus Hills enjoys average temperatures between 55 and 80 degrees throughout the entire year. As a hurricane scientist, I'm often asked, how can all of these different variables affect things like hurricane risks and therefore insurance costs? In addition to keeping the weather more temperate throughout the year, Citrus Hill's unique elevation provides key protections from various impacts of hurricanes. As recent storms have demonstrated, the most catastrophic damage occurs as a result of storm surge and freshwater flooding. For example, in 2022, during Hurricane Ian, the peak storm surge was approximately 13 feet. For an area like Fort Myers Beach, which is only three feet above sea level, this storm surge caused nearly 10 feet of inundation and catastrophic damage across the shoreline. At over 200 feet above sea level and its location well inland, Citrus Hills is protected from storm surge and as a result enjoys some of the lowest insurance costs in Florida. Climate and weather are extremely complex and emerge from the interaction of many variables. Setting all of that aside, I hope that you find the opportunity to experience for yourself the amazing microclimate of Citrus Hills and benefit from the active and outdoor lifestyle it offers. Take care and enjoy the sunshine.